What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. I really don't know how it took us this long, but um, we are going to be checking out our first Aston Martin today. So this is a 2017 DB11. You guys can see it's going to set us back about $150,000 and uh, it's going to be a level 249 stock. So pretty exciting stuff here. I've always loved the, the styling that we've got going on. Uh, with these Aston Martins, and uh, obviously, I mean, it's it's a luxurious, sporty, just, you know, very iconic vehicle, so, uh, let's get into it, man, oof, I really like that sound, dude, she, uh, she sounds pretty good, she feels pretty good so far, let's see, uh, let's see what we can do, we've got a 5 out of 10 customization, which is not great, but it's not bad, obviously middle of the road, but we should have some body panels and stuff we're gonna be able to change up and we should have a good time with this. So stock, you guys can see, we've got a 600 horsepower, 5.2 liter V12. What a monster, dude. That is insane. Zero to 60 at 3.7 seconds. Max torque of 516 foot pounds and a top speed of 200 miles per hour. So we could obviously upgrade a lot of these parts, about double the horsepower, get it up to 1200, or we could end up going for an engine swap and potentially, actually it looks like 1200 is about about as high as you're gonna get. Honestly, I mean, I I think we should upgrade the turbo maybe. I just, I, I, I don't wanna make this thing too good. I feel like we've had so many level 400 plus cars lately. I feel like we can race some different races and see some different opponents and stuff like that to uh, to kind of mix things up a bit. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to race at least one race, a little bit more stock. Obviously, we have the big nitrous and the big turbo on there, but I would like to, um, to do something a little bit different. We haven't really raced at the level 277 in a long time, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. So let's hop into paint and wrap here. Looks like we, we got disconnected from the internet somehow, so we've got to get back online. All right, so we've got some black and gold here. There's a nice dark satin blue with some, some kind of Tronish lines on there. That's not too bad. We've got a straight up gray. I mean, that's super classic. Can't go wrong with that, but it's also not that exciting. That actually looks pretty nice right there. I don't mind that. We've got that in the gray as well. Ooh, that actually looks, I like that a lot. We've got a color changing blue and purple here. Eh, not a super big fan of that. And then this looks like it's a, a purplish carbon fiber. That's not bad. We've got a, a forged carbon red. We've got more grays. We've got a red and black carbon right here, which looks kind of interesting. We've definitely done a lot of green lately, so I'm not gonna go for it this time. But honestly, I love like a lime green or a highlighter yellow on Aston Martin. So this looks nice, but like I said, I don't wanna get too repetitive. Um, I think I got it. I went with a uh, kind of a custom color here. We've got like a, a satin metallic burnt orange with some black accents to kind of match everything else that we've got going on. We've got a stripe down the middle and some, some stripes down there on the bottom of the side skirt. So I. I feel like that looks pretty good. Very unique color. You know, typically do a lot of blues. We do a lot of greens. We do some whites and some reds and stuff like that. So I figured the orange we hadn't done in a while. And so I feel like it turned out pretty well. So let's check out the body customization here. Like I said, we should have a decent amount of customization we can work with. I actually like the stock grill there. I'm going to see what we have for bumpers here. Ooh. Trying to see the difference between the stock and the other stuff we've got going on. I like the alchemist look right there. That's pretty mean. Going to look at our splitter options here. I'm going to say let's go with the first splitter there. Got to add a little bit more to it. Canards. We aren't going to be able to put any canards on here due to the, the front bumper and the way it is right now. So that's, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. For our hood. Ooh. Ooh, dude. I really like that. All right. We're gonna go with the vented in the middle and on the sides. That looks pretty nice. We can smoke these headlights. I'm down. Let's smoke them out a little bit. That'll look pretty good. That hood actually added the 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 wide body on it, which is kind of interesting. Side skirts. Gonna add something a little more aggressive. What do we like? This or this? I can't. Oh, I, I see. It's over on the the top left is is the main change there. So we're gonna go with that. That's looking pretty good so far. Rear fenders, if we've got the wide body in the front, we might as go well go wide body in the back. Looks nice, let me see here. I feel like the, the double vent up on the front fender is kind of a little excessive, but I think we're just gonna leave it. Dude, this thing looks so nice. I love it so far. So we've got some different rear bumper options. I'm gonna go with this one right here. 
kind of concave a little bit. You can see a little bit more of that tire. You guys know I love that look. Ooh. All right, so we've got all carbon fiber. We've got whatever that is. That's kind of interesting. We've got that with more fins, more carbon fiber. I'm going to say I kind of like this. So I'm going to go for that, and then let's see what we can do for exhaust. Just looking, looking for something a little bit cleaner. I'm thinking maybe... Uh, Maybe this right here. That looks pretty nice. Kind of some titanium tipped exhausts. All right, that's looking pretty good. So for a license plate, I don't think, I mean, we could go for a yellow. I guess there is an orange. So we're gonna go for the orange here. I mean, we gotta do it, right? 007, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Um, diffuser, we can change this up a bit, but honestly, I really liked what we had. Ooh, that's kind of, that's kind of nasty too, but I think I'm going to keep that, that stock diffuser there. We can change up the tail lights, so I'm going to go ahead and smoke those bad boys out. You guys know, you got to smoke the, the headlights and tail lights. It just makes things look a lot more uniform and nice. We've got some, uh, some rear wing options. I actually, I think I'm going to go with the ducktail. We haven't done one of these in a while, and I feel like it looks pretty good. Kind of fits the, the rear end that we've got going on. Dude. This thing actually looks super, super nice. We never change the mirrors, but that's because oftentimes the stock mirrors look the best. Now for the rims and the tires, probably gonna put some Toyos on here. I don't know why, I, I don't know why I'm so, so partial to the Toyos. I just feel like they look really nice on pretty much every car. So I'm gonna put the two Toyos on there. Do we wanna change up the rims? I don't think we're gonna change the, uh, I don't think we're gonna change the actual, who. I think I'm gonna go to the, the black, the black calipers. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked. I don't think we're gonna change the actual rims, but we might change the colors depending on uh, on what looks nicer. So honestly, I really like, I, I like these rims. I like the, the white tips and the, the black kind of on the inside. I mean, we could go all black, but I feel like that doesn't, that doesn't quite look as good. If anything, we could go for some orange. What if we went for like a really light orange? Nah, I don't really like that. Let me see if there's anything on our uh, our secondary paint. I mean, we could we could go for a carbon look, which might be pretty nice. I'm gonna see if we go for a a, a little bit lighter carbon. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'm I'm down for that. We'll put some carbon in there kind of reduce the, the weight a little bit, save some weight. But overall, dude, this thing, this looks so nice. This is so classy. It's like beautiful, but not too showy. You know what I mean? Like this thing just looks really, really good. So for effects, I'm gonna go with some, um, I don't think we're gonna change the, the nitrous color. We could go with some some gold smoke on the, uh, the, the tire smoke, and then I guess I guess we can go for some orange underglow. I really don't think this thing needs to be lowered. If anything, we're just adding some camber, so I'm not gonna lower it at all. There's no reason for that. And then for exhaust sounds. Make it just a little bit more raw, a little bit more metallic, and that, my friends, is all we need. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous. This is a masterpiece, and I cannot wait to get it out on the road. Dude, I'm not lying when I say that I think this is one of the prettiest cars, especially in, in this wide body form. Look at the hips on the rear end back here. Seriously, this is, I mean, this is gorgeous. It looks really, really good from the front, but that back end, the line, the, the you know, the rear fenders, how they kind of taper out and go flat. Dude, that is, ugh. That is a Kim K booty if I've ever seen one. It looks absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited to see what this thing can do. Obviously, we're not uh, we're not fully maxed out. You know, maybe we could do a couple of races. I say, yeah, we could do that. Let's do two races, not maxed out, and then we'll throw some uh, some fully elite plus parts on there, and then do it maxed out. I just I don't know. Like this is Greenbird. This is a race that I honestly can't even remember. I, I don't think we've done in so long. So. Um, I just kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit, but uh, yeah, this thing is, this thing is gorgeous. I don't know, Aston Martins, they're, it's nice because they're a little, a little more low key, you know what I mean? Like they, they, they've got a crazy price point and they're crazy fast, but they're not as showy as like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or anything else. Like these things are, are, are much more like luxury focused or equally luxury focused to speed. And uh, I think that's kind of cool. You know, I, th I think if you're looking for a nice car that's fast and fun to drive, but also doesn't 
draw a ton of attention from people that don't know cars, then this is this is probably a, a good option for that. But uh, here we go, boys. Ooh, running right into that Mustang off the bat. We're gonna be okay though. Yeah, this uh, this thing is beautiful. I love it. I'm. I wasn't I wasn't aware that it was this pretty from the back end. I've always liked Astons. They were never like my first choice or anything. Like if I was looking at an exotic in, in this price range, I would probably look elsewhere. But uh, this is this is kind of trying to deter me from that that thought. You know what I mean? There's an Aston Martin dealership here in Orlando next to the mall at Millennia. Every time we go to the mall, we drive by it. I always see uh, see some of these guys out there, and it's like, whoo, those things are pretty. So not, not bad after this first lap here. We're in third place, but it it looks like we are a little bit behind. We do have a little bit of work cut out for us. Obviously a bit a bit slower than what we're accustomed to in this game, but I, I personally I kinda like that a little bit. And I, I feel like it's a different kind of challenge. You gotta be a lot more A lot more thoughtful with your line and where you're going and stuff like that. Ooh, I kind of pushed him off there. I'm sorry, bro. Rather than just like twitch reactions, try not to run into oncoming traffic. It's it's a, a little bit more technical. Ooh. Here we go. Come on. See, we, we didn't really have the best line there. That probably should have been our opportunity to, to get up into first, but it just didn't work out. Woo! What's up, buddy in the F-Type? Go ahead and slide on around here. Oh my goodness, dude, this thing. Woo! All right, this is gonna be a good challenge, huh? I can already tell. Nice, here we go. Just gotta stay with him. When we get on that back straight, we're gonna be able to hit that nitrous and we should be able to, to catch him no problem, but we gotta get there first. Dude, this thing feels pretty good. It definitely does feel a little heavier. That might just be because we don't have those elite parts on that I'm used to, but overall, it it feels it feels pretty smooth. Got to be careful here. Be very careful. We've got one last little corner. As soon as we come around this guy, going to end up hitting the nitrous. Ooh, see that? That corner was not good out of us right there, but we've got the nitrous ready to go, so we should be able to pull this out. Woo! That was a good corner there. Had a nice little exit. Here's another little good one. Little little drip tap right there. These guys are fairly close behind, but uh, close just isn't going to cut it for them. There it is. All right, win in the first race. Let's go ahead and check out something else that we haven't done in a while. And like I said, eventually we'll throw some elite parts on there and see what she can do. Sky Ace. This is another one that we have not done in a, uh, a very long time. I don't even remember some of these, man, to be honest. So I'm glad we did this. Kind of ventured out, did something a little bit different. I'm tempted. So, I mean, most of the cars I upgrade all the way. I just, there's always comments that are like, oh my God, why didn't you upgrade it all the way? And I like, you guys know the reason why I do that. We've been talking about it here. So I think most people kind of understand. I just, I don't, I don't want it to get too repetitive. It's it's easy to get repetitive. So I want to make sure we're always doing something different and, and keeping this series exciting as we get deeper into it. But um, I'm kind of, I'm tempted just for fun. I, I kind of wanted to get the Stepside Chevy, one of the very first cars, one of the least expensive cars. I wanted to get that guy and uh, just not upgrade it and race it at level 100 and just kind of see just gotta see what happens. I, I don't know. It, it could be kind of interesting. Dude, these guys, I don't know why, on that corner back there, they, they go super wide into the oncoming traffic section of the highway. They go the wrong way down the highway, and it, it's, it, it cost them like 10 seconds. We were way behind them, and we didn't do anything. Didn't use any nitrous or anything. It's this right here. They go wide rather than taking this inside. I don't really know why you would do that, but uh, to each their own, I guess. Woo! The e-brake certainly works with this thing. All right, so this is a, a fun little one. I kind of enjoyed this. I wish, 
I've said this before, I truly wish this, this worked like Forts and I wish your competition would would kind of morph to where you're at. I wish there was a setting where you could make every race in the game a 400 race. Think if we had 400 speed and we were ripping through this, trying to hit these, these sharp corners, going 200 miles an hour, that'd be so much fun, dude. But um, anyway, that's gonna be a wrap here on race number two. And uh, we are gonna go ahead and uh, let's go put some big parts on this bad boy. Check this out, guys. So we're up to 12 hundred horsepower that is absolutely insane we're actually only a level 386 i thought we were for sure going to be able to get up to 400 plus i think we probably could if we did the engine swap but then we'd lose that beautiful aston martin sound so we need a uh we need a level 400 race i'm going to try to find something i mean most of the ones are over here but we've done a lot of these lately 380 i mean we're, we're going to go for it 386 we might be a little bit under leveled but let's truly see what this thing can do so we've got all Ultimate Plus parts. We've got some track tires on. I even went with track tires. Usually we do on-road tires to make things a little bit more slippery, but uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to focus solely on going fast and having grip here, because I knew we were gonna be doing one of these big races. So here we go, lightning. Let's see, uh, let's see if we've got what it takes, man. I'm kind of excited. This is really gonna put this thing to the test, dude. I just, I, my mouth is like kind of watering when I'm looking at this. I think this is such a good, it's a great body kit for it. Maybe a little bit much on the front end. Rear end looks fantastic. I, I don't know, dude. I, I mean, front end looks pretty good too. I just feel like the, the carbon gills over the, the very top of the fender along with the, the stock Aston Martin little thing there, it, it's kind of a, a little bit much. There's a lot happening in one little area. But apart from that, it looks fantastic. Look at those carbon fiber rims. Oh. Dude, this is, this is great. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. That F40 right there is beautiful. I'm thinking about doing an, an episode on that one soon. Should be, should be kind of interesting. What do we have here? We've got some long straights and stuff kind of going all over the place. All right. It's actually looking like from a, from a, a what's it called point of view, from a, a zero to 60 and, and top speed point of view, we are a little bit outclassed here. These guys definitely are a little bit faster. But we're just gonna have to take them on the uh, take them on the corners. Whew. We're good. We're gonna be okay. Can we we can hit a nitrous right here? Let's go. Come on, baby. We're in third place right now. We've got a pretty good race so far, but we can always improve on it. Ooh, that one hurt a little bit. We're okay though. It's a little bit rainy and wet out here, but these. These track tires are getting the job done. Come on, baby. Oh, we're good. We just ate that like a tank, bro. We, we barely took any damage. Let's get it. Nope. Woo! <laughs> See ya. Nope. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. Oh! Dude, we're good. Okay. This is absolutely insane so far. There's a cop right next to us, but we're fine. 58% of the way through with this race. Got a little little left-hand turn here. I'm going to be honest, there's so much happening. I'm not even really paying attention. A lot just happened all at once back there. I'm worried about looking down at our mini-map to make sure we're going the right direction. I'm trying not to hit some of these cars. We've got these hard right-angle turns. Whew. We're going to be okay. First place is right up there. We already evaded the cops. This is where those those track tires are coming in nice and handy. I'm gonna ride this guy. All right, uh, I'm thinking we save. We're gonna save the, the nitrous just for a bit. Woo! Looking pretty good so far, dude. So we're, I mean, we're 30 levels under here, which is, um, I, I guess 20, 20, is it 20 levels? About 18 levels, something like that. I mean, it was a, a fairly significant difference, but it's looking, it's looking like we might be able to pull this out. Oh my God, we're good. We got it. Dude, that was a little bit sloppy, but we got it done. We just had to, we had to go as fast as we possibly could. Oh man, that was a fun race. So uh, boom, there you guys have it. This thing is a monster. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's one of the better looking builds that we've done. I like the color. I like the kit. 
I like the car in general. Dude, I just, I love those rear fenders. This thing is gorgeous on the rear end. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Leave a comment down below with, uh, with which vehicle we should customize. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out. I don't like quitting, but I guess I'm the only one.